I know what the fuck's your boy. My son's just about numbers after the name. A little Cuphead action over here. A little Freestyle Friday, man. Come down maybe to the end of these Cuphead balls. Only got a handful to go, man. I, this one, I always hate to say this because it, it, it's difficult. Like, everything in this game is hard, right? Like, same thing like when I put the Dark Souls videos up. Like, some bosses are easier than others. They're all hard. Like, all these guys can kill you in, like, one shot. And same thing with this girl. You make one mistake and you're done. Uh, obviously, if you're better at parrying, you could probably do a little bit better with some of the stuff she does. You'll notice I rarely, rarely, rarely parry, and I really don't parry up until like the end when I gotta have to do. And it, it hurts. I, I, if I were to change one thing, give you one piece of advice is learn how to parry early and do it, because uh, you're gonna need it by the end of the game. Uh, and you don't want to be caught at the end of the game being like, "What the hell is this?" and then be like, "Oh." This game's hard, man. At the end of the game, man, I, I it was like a dark three, three days of my life. I would just come home from work. Try to beat it, didn't work. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And the devil, like, at the end is hard. Um, but I felt like the uh, dice block guy was, like, even harder for me, at least, like, personally or whatnot. You'll notice I have, like, a different, like, setup or a little different uh, thing, which I was trying out and I really didn't like, honestly. Uh, but overall, I felt like this was kind of an easy boss to dodge, like, a little bit and kind of play around with, and probably easier even if you, um, if you parried and whatnot. Uh, like I could parry like kind of that star and stuff like that for example instead of just being like stuck in the corner uh, You'll notice too. I, I always kind of stuck with the little blue like shot the little blue beam thing and The uh, the green leaf uh, the green leaf one Obviously is weaker, but it always hits right like it always finds its target So rather than just not hitting anything for an extended period of time I'd rather hit it at least a little bit and like hit it weaker than just not at all and check it out man Marcos does parry yo Marcos does parry. What's good, yo? We figured it out, man. And a necessity, I, I will parry. But if not, then nah. Um, and then I realized that that other thing was trash. So I decided to just hit it with the supers with the blue thing over here. But look at this, man. This is just madness going on. This is crazy. There's stuff to parry and whatnot. There's stuff to dodge. But I wanted to beat it without the great thing, man. I would recommend that. It's a little bit weaker. It even says in the description that it's weaker than the other stuff. So you won't be hurting as much. But you're always hitting, so why not always at least hit? If you're going to have your back to it and it's a game where, like, you'll notice you have to keep dodging and leaning from side to side. You're not always looking at what, like, you're shooting at. So a little bit easier to do with that. Don't worry about the grade, man. At least we pass, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I ain't looking to get honorable. I ain't looking to get honorable. I'm still going to pass. Deuces.